It's Get Well Wednesday. And today we're going to talk about bipolar disorder and African Americans. One in five Americans suffers from bipolar disorder. And one in five African Americans suffer from bipolar disorder. Bipolar Disorder and African Americans. Welcome back to the show from Houston, Dr. Don Brown. Dr. Don, your article on blackamericaweb.com is very extensive and very good. I know we're going to have a lot of questions uh, that you're going to that you're going to respond to at 646464, but I suggest you also read this article on blackamericaweb.com that she wrote. Good morning, Dr. Don Brown. Welcome back. Good morning, Tom. Thanks so much. It's good to be back. Okay, how do you how do you um how do you define bipolar disorder or AKA manic depression? So basically, bipolar disorder is a lifelong brain disorder that causes unusual and significant shifts in a person's mood their energy levels, their activity levels, even their sleep patterns, and their ability to carry out day-to-day tasks. Um, bipolar disorder consists of having manic phases and depressive phases. So if you think of like a, a teeter-totter from a playground, uh-huh. when, a person is man- <laughs> when a person is up, they're manic, right? Yeah. They're full of life. They have high energy levels. They're euphoric is what we refer to it as. Um, they talk very fast. It's hard to understand what they're saying. They even tend to believe they can do things outside of their skill level. So this is kind of referred to as grandiosity. And sometimes they um, can contemplate suicide at these at these dates. And then when they're depressed, they're very, very low. So these are people who have difficulties getting out of bed, poor energy levels. Um, it's even hard to feel motivated to go to work. They, they're not eating well, sleeping well, and they also have a risk of wanting to commit suicide as well if it gets worse. So it's hard to diagnose? Yes, you can't diagnose it by just taking a blood sample. So this is not going to infect this doctor and say you have a bacterial infection and this is the antibody to treat it. Mm -hmm. Um, Diagnosis can be very complex. And so it's very important that you go to a mental health provider who's skilled in identifying these factors because we often want to rule out other medical conditions that actually look like bipolar disorder. So someone who has ADHD or hyperthyroidism, for example, can also look like they are in a manic state because of the degree of hyperactivity that they present with. So it's very important that you're diagnosed with by a mental provider. Yeah, I did a, I did a film with an actress who in the morning she was full of life and just so much energy. And by noon mm-hmm. after lunch, it was like you slapped her mama. It was like com- a completely different person. Every day? Yes. Yeah. Every day. Every day. Yeah. The whole set off. And what's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> Says the you woman know, named Sybil. <laughs> my name is Sybil, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good point, Joe, because, you know, you know, I'm not sure if she has bipolar disorder, but oftentimes people who have bipolar disorder that's not treated well describe having like being on a roller coaster yeah. and they have rapid cyclers. So they can cycle every single day when they feel manic and depressed within even the same hour, for example. So um, this is a condition that um, definitely is very um, important to recognize because it can lead to significant consequences hmm. if it's not treated appropriately. I know you got plenty of questions about bipolar. And the doctor, Dr. Don Brown, is going to be around for the next hour at 646464. I also suggest you read her article on blackamericaweb.com this morning. Thank you, Dr. Don, and thank you for helping us again on Get Well Wednesday.